This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. It's for entertainment purposes only. The one. The only. A father in the house, baby. Wow! Sorry for the late video, guys. I've been, like, watching the stock all day. And I'm going to give you the A father's opinion of what's going on today. Okay. So, Ken Griffin is a sneaky snake. We all know this. Okay. And, you know, the hedge funds, they're all snakes in the grass. This is what they're doing, okay? There was good news that came out today with AMC. I'm sure you heard. They bought the two largest movie theaters in Los Angeles, I think, the Grove Americana. Okay. So, Ken Griffin knows that Wall Street's going to react, right? He knows that because it it's a positive, new, positive news day. So, what happens to a stock when it's got positive news? It goes up. So, obviously, if he manipulates... You know, the shit out of this, it's going to look bad. And we all know that the heat's on Ken Griffin. I'm not going to do the dance of the yes, I'm going to save energy for a song. Right, I'll do a little bit. Heat is on. Heat is on. Ooh, ooh. All right, a little, a, little, a little one. But anyway, he knows the heat's on him. And he knows that the eyes are on him. FINRA, SEC, okay. So imagine if on a day like today, he started doing tremendous manipulation and brought the stock down to 28. I mean, he knows he's finished. He's going to get, you know, they're going to knock on the door, you know, like, sit it down, hello, you know, Ken Griffin, please, let me see your books. And then his butt is cooked, okay? So, what I think he's doing is he's playing smart, okay? He's like, let me try to not, you know, be so obvious, but try to keep this under 40. And we got close to going to 40, but we didn't cross 40. We didn't cross 40 yet. And I think he's trying to just keep it under 40. We may cross it, I don't know. But my opinion, this is just the eight fellow's opinion. He's trying to keep the price low without looking too obvious that he's manipulating. Okay. So what does that mean? Is it did we win the war? Not yet, guys. Look, the eight father declares victory. I declare victory when we hit Pluto. That's when I do this. That's when I put the V in the air, okay? And like I said in the past, I think we're going to start to see a lot of this action when we hit, when we go past 73. I really believe that's what's going to trigger everything, okay? So just keep doing what you're doing. You got to have patience. Patience is key. Patience is key. Keep buying, okay? Keep holding with diamond balls of steel. But, you know, remember, Ken Griffin, he's a snake in the grass, He's very superstitious, and this one's going to go out to him. But remember something, even though he's a snake in the grass and he's superstitious, it don't change the fact that he's a tremendous dead baby. It don't change the fact that he's got to cover somewhere probably upwards of 600 to 800 million shares, okay? So it's only a matter of time. The squeeze is coming, baby. The squeeze is inevitable. So he could be as superstitious as he wants. We're going to win the war, baby. So let's do it. Little Stevie Wonder in the house, all right? Let's do it. Superstitious Riding's on the wall Very superstitious But the hedge funds will fall He's trying to cover his books His ass is cooked We gotta put him back in his place We're gonna pass Jeff Bayos in space, yeah. All right, ready? Little piano solo for me and Father. So anyway, bye. 
hold and share. Bye, hold and share. I said bye, hold and share. Come on, bye, hold and share. Bye, hold and share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all you gotta do. I dare. Okay, Griffin, don't mess with the apes. Pass, pass, Jeff Bezos in space. And if Elon Musk goes in space, we're gonna pass him too. Go with the Pluto, baby. And another galaxy too. Thank you.